isolated room where Freedom, Caleb, and Kane are uh, are down there. So they're like the first ins, and we're gonna do initiatives right here. Sweet. Start oh, yeah, with I the combat. About... It rolled high and it doesn't really matter because some. What do what do ladder. I do? Oh yeah, I How just, do I I just do don't hit anything. That's what I do. Yeah. Yeah, so make sure everybody rolls initiatives here, because there's three down there, and then there's the other guys up there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is right. it just one yeah, click for uh, Fantasy Ground? Yeah. Okay, uh, so how uh, Fantasy Grounds it. works is, if it's a button, it's one click. If it's a field with a number in it, it's two clicks. Alrighty, thanks. Mm-hmm. Um. Fortunately... These are just rodents of unusual size, so they are. Caleb, go ahead, go ahead and They're swing your psych around like a madman, like the madman you <laughs> yeah. are. Uh, I will continue. The guy to was ready to murder a trained. person at the protest. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he was attacking me. I mean, I was, he was. attacked too. Yeah, you asked him if you were being detained, and then he started swinging wildly. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, farm. This farmer boy Caleb here. He doesn't uh, play by you city folk rules. <laughs> Less wrestle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's only fun if there's some blood involved. There. Who am I missing? Uh, just Kane. Uh, I should have rolled. It should be there. Um. Uh, let's see. Maybe not. Uh, just go ahead and double click your initiative. Yeah, in if your, you're dragging and dropping into chat, which you there can do, you can there also you miss the window. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, I must have done that because I, I, I did drag and drop. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you I don't do it, it drop on that, the but window. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. It'll yeah, look like you rolled it, but it won't actually record anything. I, I, I had a better roll when I did it, but it's all good. <laughs> Oh, let me get I rolled an 18 on the dice the first time, but it's all good. It's my fault. That'll teach ya. Okay, so first up is... Yeah, it looks like it's Freedom. Oh, okay. Hey, we all beat the rats. That's amazing. This isn't Strange Aeons. We can it's actually do stuff. It's not Strange Aeons. Uh, we actually beat something on initiative. Yeah. Okay, uh, we were going down a what? Uh, ladder? Or rope? You guys already yeah, there's a ladder. ladder and it leads down into this like basement area. Okay. And the basement is very, very smelly and uh, nasty and rat infested. So when I get down here, I'm going to do three things. I'm going to move action, pull out my longsword. Move action, okay. pull out my shield and five foot step forward okay towards the rats yes okay uh amon you're still up on the upper level what do you do uh so the ladder i could start going down the ladder if i wanted yeah and it's not it's not a very uh it's not a tall ladder you can hit the bottom within one movement action Um, uh, I guess that's what I'll do. I'll move down the ladder, wherever, somewhere down here, right? And then I'll move over, like, I'll use my second move action to kind of move over here. So okay. that'll, that'll be my turn, is just getting down the ladder and positioning. Uh, Leon? Hmm, well, let's see. It looks like everybody's going down there, so I believe I will uh, hey, do the same. Hey, everybody, what's going on down there? All right, so I s presumably it hasn't been more than 10 minutes since I drank my mutagen, so I still have a climb speed. Uh, so I think what I'll do, Leon, he'll crawl through the hole, but instead of going down the ladder, he's just going to whoop onto the ceiling, if that's possible. Because if I have a climb speed, that means I can pretty much climb any surface, right? 
Unless it's greased or whatever. Well, it's okay, so it's just a climb speed. Typically you would need like spider climb to go up like walls and stuff like that that are smooth. Gotcha. Okay. If that's the case, I'll just start going down the ladder then. But you can easily go down the ladder. Right. All right, I'll go down the ladder in style, and that'll pretty much be my turn. Okay. Uh, Kane? He'll pull out his bow, and he will five foot there. And okay. that'll be his turn. You have uh, a Caleb? Standard, don't you? Yeah, you could shoot What's up? a rat. I was saying, I thought you had a standard uh, to use, too. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm, I will shoot a rat. I just let me make sure everything's put in. So. That's my attack roll against the. Uh, oh, god damn it, I got it. Uh, so, I mean, you hit it with a 22, so just make sure you're targeting it, and then you can yeah, damage. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I just realized I didn't do that before. There you go. Nice, wow. It's dying. The rats are, like, kind of, like, hissing at you guys, like, looking threateningly before they attack, and, yeah, Kane, you... You shoot an arrow into one of it, and you you take it down. It's it's dying and bleeding out. Mm -hmm. Nice. But the um, thing about rats like, is that once right they're backed into a corner, oh yeah, Kale, Caleb, I'll five foot step here, uh, study rat number one as a move action, and then ready in action to swing at it if it gets in range of my five foot reach. Okay. So now the rats, feeling as they're cornered, lash out. This one is going to come and charge freedom. And it's going to take a bite at you. And it misses with a 15. Nice. Cool. Let me put the little charge buff on it. There we go. Okay, uh, rat three is the one that's yeah bleeding out. Uh, and then rat one is gonna move over here towards freedom, and you can take oh, your dang. attack. You can take your ready to action. Yeah. Um. Can I? I can choose a power attack. This right. Yeah. Yes, you can. Okay, let's let's swing at it and hopefully do things. I hit, I hit. Wait, I hit. Okay, I, go I did a little damage. Okay. Yeah. You also bring that one down. You nearly kill it with one hit. Stupid. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I swing very wildly, but uh, unlike the people that are good at dodging, the rat was not good at dodging, and it got sliced. You're probably more used uh, to Rexus stays like that. up here for now. <laughs> I am more used to fighting rats and hitting rats with my side. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get them out of that granary. Oh man. Yep, yep. Uh, Freedom, it's your turn. Um. There's a hissing, angry rat here next to you, and then a, a dying one right on the other side. Yeah. I know it sounds strange that I'm going to do this, but this is what freedom's going to do. I'm going to take a total defense. And tell the okay, others to go through the door. Uh, Amon? Uh, I'll go look at the door, I guess. But I don't want to just recklessly open it. This might be... Sketchy. Okay, you look at the door. So I'll take a move action to look at the door for traps or whatnot. Yeah. I don't have magical traps, okay. so uh, yeah, I, it looks fine to me. 
Just the way freedom operates is like, if he doesn't have to kill it, he's not gonna bother. They're just rats. You don't need to kill them. We could just leave them. Is right. his mindset. That's um, fine. The that door is... Will not agree. Yeah, yeah. The door do. is old, <laughs> and the wood is dingy, but other than that, it doesn't look... You don't think it's trapped, and you don't even think it's locked. Okay. Uh, well, that's it for my turn. I'm gonna wait for a minute. Or for this round. Okay, then, uh, Leon. Alright, uh, he sees, let's see, the fight that's going down, and he, you know, commends Caleb. He, it's barely he a says, fight. Uh, Merveille, remember to get the rats so that we may collect our recompense, eh? Get the money from the tyranny. Bleed their purses. Oh my god. Uh, but he just uh, cheers people from, from back there, because it looks like people have got it handled. I feel like Leon should be, like, multi-classing <laughs> bard. Yeah. <laughs> You'd make a really good that bard. Is a ba good bard. It is a backup character. And I was seriously considering bard, but he's just a cheerleader <laughs> just for the uh, revolution. Bard. I think that'd be a really just cool multi-class. Just one, one, yeah, one class bard, oral, oratory. Alright, uh, is that your turn then, Leon? That it is. <laughs> Alright, Kane. Finite. Kane's gonna attack the rat uh, below okay. Freedom. And they're in melee, right? Or... Yes, yeah. it is in melee. So, so it is melee penalty. Three. Yeah. yeah. Although I think you got enough of an angle, you don't have to worry about cover at least. No, there's no yeah. cover, just minus four for firing in melee. Well, technically minus one because I have point blank shot. So, yep, that's or right. minus, yeah, minus, minus three, effectively, yeah. three, yeah. Give me a sec. How do you? It won't do a minus and an adjust one, right? Uh, so I'll just so down in the modifiers. And... No, you just can't. Just type in negative one. Or negative three. Or oh, oh, three. Yeah, in this case. Three. Yeah. Look at the bottom left. If you click where it has a zero there, you can type negative three. There, you oh, still hit it. You got a good enough yeah, got uh, roll. Nice. All right, do damage. Not quite. Ooh. It doesn't bring the rat down. It's still going. Go to your freedom, rat, before uh, they Caleb. kill you. You basically, like, the arrow pierces the rat's, like... Like, it's calf or something. Yeah. And it's bleeding out and, yeah, looking bad, but it's still hissing and angry and it's gonna go down fighting. Ding. Okay. Um, I will five foot step over here because I, yeah, can. Um, yeah, you can study it again, too. Move action, I can study it. And then I don't need a power attack it, it's very weak, so I will just uh attack it with a normal attack after studying. Oh no, my god. Dead. Oh my god. Oh oh gee. I should have power attacked. I should have yeah, got it. Critically hitting the like zero HP rat is what makes the dream okay, really happy. <laughs> I know. Freedom oh looks god. over at Caleb and he says, Was that necessary? The time spork I I take my scythe and I slash it through its head with the tip and then I like follow through and fling it across the freaking ground and it flies oh, into the wall. Oh my god. That, yep, that's, that's what, what happened happened to that rat. <laughs> Caleb contributes to the mess that is perpetual in this room. <sighs> like, huh. I wonder if we can still turn that body in for gold. It's probably good enough, right? Because we has get the gold blood if we, of these uh, kill filthy rats. dire rats on him. <laughs> it's not. I mean, it's not that I'm not used to, uh, you know, being dirty yeah, you out to, in the fields. I'll, I'll also be the one to, to get in the greenery, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll yeah, I'll, I'll collect these uh, rat bodies. They make Ew. for good eating, but I hear we can get better money from uh, 
Did they ask for you to give them the rats? Or just take care of There's the a decree to, like, to you get, turn you get in money for turning of... in rats of certain animals. It's like rats or dogs and things like that. I, I assume these rats fit the criteria. To, like, and, and who's mist paying you this money exactly? Small creatures. The, the, the government. The Gov government. The, or whatever, like, yeah, the right. Government. The government. enemy. Or is it the guards? I mean... Isn't the best way to defeat them to use their own resources against them? We don't have the means on our own. Hey. Exactly on my point. Well, you do what you need to do, but... I do not want to deal with them unless it's to shut them down. That's fine. But I'll, I'll take care of it. I admire your respect for life. I start collecting the rat bodies. Am I okay to add three rat so, bodies to my The <laughs> proclamation about the Slayers of City Pests, that yes. is ascribed to doves, mice, and ravens. These are big mice. Those are rats, sir. You could, you could try. Bluff them. These are mice. Those are like the. I mean, I feel the like these should dire... qualify. These are massive rats. So yes, I will. I will collect the bodies and then we will try to turn them in for a reward. I will not be present during that time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what do you guys do in this room? Um, it's a pretty uh, odious sword. stench that pervades. I will it. open the door if uh, it doesn't look suspicious. It looked fine to me. Okay. Then you open the door. Kane will look around in this room that we're in. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's like suspicious mine. at all. Okay. Um, you'll go around the room, and yeah, it's these crates and boxes and other, like, workbenches and tables, they're all just cluttered with rat feces and droppings and whatever they've been eating and left over. It's definitely nothing salvageable in here. It would okay. require a complete cleaning out. Yeah. And, and there's like other smaller rats and... like rats and stuff like crawling around all over the place. Just those three big ones were the only ones that got like outwardly hostile. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I put this in my S3 modifier in that perception roll, but it's all good. Uh, okay, he'll yeah, go that. move back towards the door. <laughs> all right. I had already like, preset it for my next attack. I forgot to get rid of it before I rolled it. <laughs> yeah, no worries. All right, uh, you open the door, and you open up into a room where all you see is uh, dirty salt and sawdust coating the floor of this gloomy hall. I have a torch out. This is a hall? Uh, that I had out before. Yep. And yeah, once the rats are dead, Rexus climbs down the ladder and uh, rejoins you guys. Oh, good. That brown square is Oh, uh, you walk in and you do see a little bit more. A pit, maybe? Alright, so you see that bits of the wall masonry have been chewed or clawed away. Something has been revealing narrow, winding tunnels beyond it. Mm, uh, steel <laughs> rails are mounted in the ceiling, and a few lonely iron hooks dangling from them. A pile of stained pillows and moth-eaten blankets lie in a ten-foot square depression in the floor. Which is, I assume, this. Um, yeah, this sure I'll doesn't feel around. like the hideout of some secret group order. So far, at least. It's a bit strange. How many 
secret order hideouts have you been? What was the it? polygon reveal again? Shift. Well, Amon, just so you know, back when I was growing up, some of my there friends we and I, we made a secret club and we always met in the barn. Although the horses maybe told uh, told our secrets. And you guys also see this um, iron grate to your uh, to your south uh, southeast. Uh, what about to the southeast? There's an iron grate. Gotcha. Oh, okay, now I can see it. Now that I've dragged the map. Uh, Leon, he calls out like, Bonjour, is anybody there? Just looking for movement. Uh, perhaps we should inspect some of this, this machinery to see if there's anything special about it. Ah, uh, that is one of my specialties. Oh, good. Oh. I mean, it's I'll go... similar to farm equipment I've seen. <laughs> uh, Leon will go over towards the machinery and uh, begin to inspect it. Trying to discern its purpose and if it's in a okay working uh, order. It's not machinery. Uh, I thought there, oh, there were like hooks on rails. I imagine it's kind of machinery like. There are steel rails that are mounted in the ceiling and a few iron hooks that are dangling from them. It's like something you would hang a Am I able to dis cow or a pig on or something, maybe? Yeah. Hmm. So, is that what this place looks like? Like some sort of uh, slaughterhouse? Not quite. It looks like one that hasn't been used for that purpose in a long time. Because it's not... It's not like... There's no evidence of it having been used for that in a while. It's, it's relatively clean. It, except for like the dust and stuff like that. Gotcha. The the dirtiest mm. thing in this room is this like depression in the room that has like Big these up. pillows yeah. and blankets and stuff Big like up. that. Like something's been using this as like a as bedding or something. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That's probably what's like made the holes in the wall. So maybe I guess he'll. I, I want to go check out that the wall holes and things. Looks like maybe up here there's some some damage. Mm -hmm. Um, you said you said it's kind of like tunnels. Is there any way to kind of tell what kind of creature this is? Does it look like maybe it's dire rats or something bigger? You're not sure. Ooh. Um, boy. I suppose the thing to do is to keep looking around this place and we'll probably find the creature if it's still here. Yeah. I, um, is it possible to inspect, like, the uh, nest itself? Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll check out the nest itself, just kind of holding my nose and rifling through it just to see if there's anything there to give me a clue of what's using it, or if it's uh, got any sort of magpie-like tendencies. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, you start looking through this, uh, this like, pallet, basically. Mm-hmm. And uh, you start to find some things of value in there. You start to see a lot of uh, of coins, uh, mostly copper and silver, but you think you see a few pieces of gold in there. And then there's like, you start seeing jewelry. But I need you to give me a uh, a fortitude save. Uh-oh. Alrighty, it's I will It's filthy. Do... It's gross. Alright. 
I'll roll the fortitude, and then if it looks like it's low, I'll check to see if I have anything that gives a bonus to it. Time to check if I have any bonuses, but I don't think it'll matter. That's a pretty low roll. A yeah, seven? Yeah. I, don't, I don't got anything uh, for that. All right. Um, you start looking through it, and you you start to feel this strange uh, and sudden sensation of like, as if like things were like crawling around in your, like in your clothing or whatever, and on your body, oh and it just starts getting like uncomfortably itchy. Oh uh, he exclaims like, ah. <laughs> and starts uh starts rolling around on the ground and itching himself. Uh You all right over there? Ah, but there are some sort of filthy animals, some disease on these pillows. Be careful if you wish to see the, the treasure within it. Mm. No. Unless you find only fleas. I'm gonna walk over to the greets. treasure in there. Okay. I mean, I'll uh, I'll gesture to the coins and uh, tell them like you know. And look, from like look. how bad this itching is, Leon, it doesn't feel like it's gonna go away anytime soon. <laughs> and like you're constantly like you have this urge to just scratch this unbearable itch. Oh boy! All right, he's gonna try to you know, muscle through it and uh, carry on, you know, suffering whatever uh, penalties he's got. Okay. Uh, Freedom, you move towards the grate, and this thing is pretty rusted, and it does have a lock on it. There's, like, a area where you can, you can, like, open it up and swing it open. Oh. Uh, this grate over here, it opens, but it's locked. But perhaps the key? Uh, you have a key? We, we all have the key. It is in uh, somebody's possession. We have a key? We've, we used it to open the another door. Oh, I have a key. Well, that key. Oh, um. You think that'll open this? I'll pull out that key. Okay, you do. And I try it. Okay. You try the key. Uh, roll me a percentage. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, uh... Is that this dice? That's this dice. Yes. Yeah, that's a good idea. Have Leon collect the stuff. <laughs> Uh, it's a good percentage. Okay. There's all these flies buzzing around Leon. <laughs> yeah, I got the uh, stink you... lines. <laughs> you fiddle with the gate for about a round, and the key uh, the key itself also feels pretty brittle, but it it's okay, and you do unlock the thing. However, I'm going to move Leon back over here, because of what he's doing. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, as Leon starts to take the stuff from the pallet, something else happens. Mm -hmm. uh, Leon, make me another fortitude save. God damn it, Leon. All right. <laughs> but I cannot help it. They have a mind of their own. Hacha. Natural okay. 20. That's a good one. Uh, this time, uh, from, from the wall, actually, uh, there's this, like, projectile vomit that comes after you. Ew. Oh. 
And although it, it, it lands on you and makes a nasty mess, you keep, like... You keep yourself from, uh, what do we call it, succumbing to any kind of like bad effects, but you can see now, uh, as at least one of them has made their presence known, that there is something in the wall that has been watching you and that vomited at you. Ew. Ugh. Am I able to identify said creature? Uh, you might be able to. We need to go into initiatives. So roll initiatives. All right. Yay. Day. I'm trying to remember. I think I think I rolled like a four or something on my perception to try and inspect oh, the wall. Matt, so if you probably hit why the... I didn't see anything. In the combat tracker, your enemies, if you hit that red cross out, that'll prevent us from seeing the name of the creature. And prevent certain Well, I think it's because I have uh, from rolls. I have rolls, though, which we call it visible. Yeah, but if hey, you... Hey, what do you mean by certain somebody's If you hit the... Well, the fact that you spoke up, I'm Probably looking at me. you now. Um, <laughs> if you hit that, <laughs> it'll just change the name to unidentified creature, regardless of if you have rolls shown. Oh, that too, yeah. Yes. Because, like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, now that's on. Okay. Because to be fair, I don't want to see what it is. I want to figure it out, you know? Personally. Agreed. Oh, it still shows the name. How weird. Um, no, I wasn't talking about user dream. It's just like if he puts up something that I'm familiar with, as a game master, I'm gonna already know what it does, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I know yeah. you meant. I just oh, okay. had to be offended. <laughs> oh okay, well you should be offended, you cheater. <laughs> I mean, that's kind well, of. I mean, it kind of happens. So I think the no only time what. I cheated <laughs> is whenever banshees were involved. You and cheated. I think justified. Ugh. Well, I, I was I, I've looked up the Banshee stat block before to see what it is, and now I know. Shame on you. Yeah. Because they're I, I, everyone's I, like, oh, they're so strong. And I'm like, well, what are they? Yeah. I mean, not lot like, while fighting it, but up my guy it. solo yeah, try the solo Banshee. <laughs> oh god, he died. So yeah, you yeah. you see this creature. And it, it looks like a rat, but it's like this little rat person. Rat person? Is it Sonic? Sonic the Hedgehog? No. Okay. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. He's got a belly. Yeah, they're, It's from all those chili kinda, dogs yeah, he's been eating. Looking. Wait, can they jump and fly from tree to tree? Why does it have the wingy kind of arms? Like squirrels. Oh, baby, it can. It's freaky. Let it jump at you. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, but basically, it, it, uh... It's like, it, it squeaks back at you. Uh, in a language that I don't think you understand. And it throws a rock at you fr uh, from inside the wall. Whoa. All right. Rude. I speak many languages, but yeah, it may not be one that I do. Uh, Leon. All right. I look at him and I squint and I say, you will need a vase for the bouquet of oopsidases you have just picked. And I will cast a spell conjuring fire in the palm of my hand. Uh, for produce flame, it always confuses me. Am I able to make an attack with the flame the yes. same round that I cast the spell? Yes. Okay. Yep. Is that, is that your ruling as well, Matt? Oh, that's how it works, right? That is how it Alrighty, works. then I will do so. 
I will target okay. that um, creature. You do have a how that itching wor is working uh, mechanically. You have a minus one uh -huh. penalty on all of your attack rolls, saving throws, skill checks, and ability checks. Okie dokie. Uh, I will try to apply that. I'd probably put slow on him to get that all of that. Or something else. Yeah, that oh, could work. Oh. Whatever effect in there that has all that, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, because I was looking, I was trying to put an effect, figure out where I could put like modifiers on myself so it could just be a quick bloop bloop. <clears throat> um. But uh, does a twelve does a twelve hit? Because that's a, a minus one to my attack. Uh, the twelve does not hit it. Yeah, well, well you'll see it. All oh. right, so that's one down. We know it's AC, I guess. It's touch. Oh, yeah, it's touch AC. Hmm. All right, that's uh, Leon's uh, uh, turn. He shouts to everyone, "Regards!" in uh, pointing out the creature. Okay, in the Kane, wall. it's your turn. Kane will uh, fire an arrow at it because he hasn't put away. The also, the the token for it is a little bit big. I can make. It, I'm gonna, probably gonna make it smaller, but They're this small. thing is tiny. Oh, tiny. Okay. Yeah. So they have to be in your square. He's gonna attack to this thing. Looks like a hit. All right. Oh, I didn't realize it says says that it hits. It okay. does, although it's usually <laughs> probably a good idea still to wait for the GM the to wait. confirm yeah. in case there's like a, a modifier or something. A track or something like that, yeah. 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 Matt, did that hit? Uh, sorry about that. Okay, uh, so... I, I I shot an arrow at it. I was just waiting to see if that actually hit or not. So is that like does not a hit. hole in in the wall like a like a mouse hole? Yeah. 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 Uh, nice cover. So what you and Leon realize you you can't even use your well. Okay, so you can make your attacks against it, but as long as it's inside the wall. You, it has total cover. Oh, okay. Alright. Um, he will move after that then, and he will try to get a better angle, even though really um, that's his turn. Okay, freedom. Um, so I guess I'm fiddling with the lock when this happens. Oh, you got the lock. Okay. So I, like, finish getting the lock and then I turn to see what's going on. And, yeah, there's, like, uh, some angry squeaking. Uh, I am going to pull out my shield. And then pull out my sword, and then move. 5, 10, 15, 20. And that's my turn. Okay. Uh, I'm on. Uh... Can I do? I can. I, I can't see that well enough right now to for where I am to identify it, or can I? It is hard to see it. Okay, so maybe I'll move. Um, 
I might even have to double move, I guess. If I move over here behind Leon, can I see it well enough to try to figure out what it is? Sure. Give me a knowledge check. Uh, I don't know. Is this knowledge arcana? I'll try that. Oh, sorry. Uh, give me a knowledge nature. No. Uh, I don't have ranks in it, so if the DC is higher than 10, I can't get it. But if it's 10 or lower, then I got it. It is 10 or lower. Nice. Level 1 Pathfinder. Yep. Uh, hmm? This is a gremlin. No! Alright. That was sarcasm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, you I know that it's a kind of fey. So the creature has a very small amount of DR. Oh, oh my scythe is iron. ready for this. And you need cold iron to get through it. Okay. Um, well, I already moved, double moved this turn, but I will. I'll shout that it's. Uh, you know, it's it's some sort of fake. You need cold iron. Uh, and I wonder if that means it speaks Sylvan, actually. Anyway, um, I guess that's something. Do I do I know if it speaks uh Sylvan? You don't think so? Okay, that's my turn then. I double move here. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, That's Rexus moves over here with you guys, and he says, oh no, more pests and an even greater infestation. Uh, this thing throws another rock at Leon. All right. And it's still shouting angrily and squeakily at you. All right. Is it in common, draconic, dwarven, gnome, goblin, infernal, orc, or sylvan? Nope, it's none of those. Okay. It hits you. All right. It deals one point of damage to you. Ouch. All right, Leon, see your turn. He squints at it angrily, and uh, does it look like uh, it's a tiny creature? It is a tiny creature. Does it look like a creature that is also tiny might be able to get into that wall? Yes, that's probably the only way you'd be able to get into that wall. Okay. Leon, he squints at it, he drinks a potion, and then shrinks down one size category to tiny. Okay, you do that, you're tiny now. Alright, and with one hand still aflame, he uh, moves over there. And since he is smaller now, his already poor speed is uh, <laughs> just a little bit less now. I think. Actually, no. It doesn't look like reduced person doesn't reduces reduce your, your speed. actual speed. Alright, cool. So I moved 20 feet. Okay. Uh, do you enter the wall, or do you just stand on the like on the outside of it? Uh, well, I am I able to reach through it and try to punch him with a fiery fist? If you want to stay on the outside of it and, and try to reach through, you can. But he still has total cover. He doesn't have total cover. He just has cover. Okay. I'm going to wait until I can actually get into the wall and in his business. Okay. And 
uh, yeah, I shout like, Avance! As I start to move towards him. Kane? Uh, Kane holds his action, waits to see what happens. He's going to knock an arrow, and if this thing pops out, he'll shoot it. He'll move okay, up freedom. Though, as well. Um, so we only see one? You only see one. I will... Double move. Okay. This armor makes me slow. Uh, Emon? Uh... I'll... pull out my cold iron dagger, and... I think that's it, though. Like, I can't get to that one in case there's more of them, or something, or, uh, or in case it, uh, gets lured out somehow. Maybe I'll move up closer as well. Okay. Caleb? Uh, similarly, I will move up uh, 5, 10, 15, 20 to here. And I will uh, take a total defense. Okay. Rexus, uh, he he says a word of caution to Leon. Be careful. Uh, now that you're close enough to it, Leon, it's gonna try and bite you. Alrighty. Does it have to actually get into my square to try and bite me, since I haven't actually gone in there? Well, you're within reach of now punching it, so it's within reach of biting you. Gotcha. But it misses. Alrighty. Oh yeah, I guess I should bump up my AC by uh, one, since turn. I'm small. Alright, um, I'm going to attempt to get into uh, the wall so that it can't uh, hide behind cover anymore. Okay, you can do that. Alright, I guess I'll squirm on in there. Uh, does it uh, provoke from the creature? No, it doesn't. However, okay. before you do anything, uh, you see... Oh, was that Grim? Yeah, uh-oh. Okay. Uh, you see that there are four more of them hiding in this wall that you can now see. Hmm. And they're all lined up? Well, they're all kind of, like, near each other. The Like, once you get inside this wall, you can see, like, these tunnels and passages that they've they've been making here. Uh-huh. And the the two the two closest ones, they 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 step forward now that you're in here with them, and they they uh they try to bite you and attack you. Oh boy! Are you saying that they're trying that right now, or they will in? Oh, moment? they do that right now. Okay, my AC is. They're basically taking a ready to action. Gotcha. My AC is currently 16 because of a reduced person, so let me uh, change that. All right. Go ahead and bite me, little goblins. Or critters. Uh, 
Yeah, I just gotta get them to target you. Okay. Hmm. Well, good thing it's not a crit. <laughs> Okay, but you take one point of damage. Alright. And give me a fortitude save. Alright. That's my total. Okay. Uh, you don't feel anything right now. Alright. Uh, what All right. are you doing your turn? Well, let's see. So I've gone in there. I've seen that there's like a ton of them in there. Uh, is it possible to... How much movement have I used thus far? I'm going to say you've only taken a five-foot step. Okay. Is it possible instead of a five-foot step, since I was planning to crawl in there, that it was just regular movement and I can back out with my remaining movement? No. No? Okay. Well, if that's the case, then I'm going to make a melee touch attack on the one right in front of me. Go down to action. Did that not roll? There we go. It rolled. Ugh. All right, that was a miss then. Okay. Uh, okay, it's Kane's turn next. You hear a merd from inside the wall. All right, Kane will hold his action. He's waiting to get a clear shot on one of these things. Okay. Uh, this one gets closer, but it can't get close enough to you. Uh, freedom. Um... Freedom shouts at you and says, Well then, draw them out! And I will... Five foot step and ready in action to attack anything that becomes attackable. Including my ally! No, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm on. Uh... Yeah, I'll do something similar here. I'll, like, position myself that, like, maybe if Leon runs out and these things try to follow, I can I can try to hit one of them. Okay. Uh, Caleb? Yeah, I want to do the same, but I don't want to be in the way. Hmm... I guess I'll go like here, and I All will right. also ready in action to attack one if it is within reach. This one moves a little bit closer to the others. Um, it is actually going to throw a rock, not at Leon, but it's going to throw a rock at Caleb. It's going to take considerable penalties here. Okay. I don't like you and the way you handled that rat earlier. Yeah. It's all... And it starts shouting, like, at you and Amon. Okay. Well. Yeah, it misses. Oh, good. What is going on with... 
That's Grim, that, what, that's what unfortunately kind of normal for Grim. Yeah, it just keeps de-seeking. So it's like I, oh. I hear like way I hear two voices when it's not supposed to be like both of you talking. So it's lagging, and then the person uh, yeah. before it comes through once you're not lagging anymore. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I keep having Dang, to that sucks. like drop it and reset it. Uh, Rexus casts a spell. He can cast spells. In that he can. And he he listens to them. And he says, uh, "Oh, um." The, the treasure. They don't like us being near it. But I think we should still get rid of them. <laughs> uh, this one's going to keep attacking Leon. It's going to bite him. All right. They're at war with the other tiny person, and it misses. <laughs> this one's going to bite. Oh, back to back twenties. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's well. good. You still take one. They have no strength. Didn't... <laughs> oh yeah, we did talk about the negatives, didn't we? It does add or multiply. Yeah. Well, that cool. one's also gonna bite Leon. Take a damage. They're trying to maul this little person to death. All right, your turn, Leon. <laughs> Alright, do I need to roll any sort of fortitude saves from being uh, attacked by those things? Hey, why are you asking for more negatives? Uh, yes, actually, you're, you're correct. Uh, you need to give me three. Three? Oh. Alright. Because it was three hit? No, it was two hits, right? Drew just wants to play his bard now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll just take... The first two, because only two hits. Um, all right. Uh, you don't feel anything right now. Okay. Uh, I will shout at these creatures, uh, unleashing a tirade of insults at them, and say, "Did somebody are there the ravageur brule?" And I will five foot step back. And I'm going to target the one in front of me, and I'm going to take out a mixture and fire a bomb at it. Oh, jeez. Okay. Since they're all clustered together, I think they should all take the, uh, if they fail the save, they'll probably all suffer some of that damage. Now, they have cover against you. It's not total cover, but it's cover because you're tiny. You can actually get a bomb into the holes. All right. But it's still going to be a minus four penalty on the range attack. And with the minus one from okay. the itching. All right. Well, it's basically just a minus four because uh, I'm already I'm small, so that mitigates that, that. Plus, I get a plus one because I'm small, so my dex is up. Uh, how do I apply that? You could do it as an effect. Uh, I guess you could just change the numbers on your sheet as well, I suppose, but... I guess that's true. So there is a reduced that, person effect already. There is? Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah. Yeah, so if you go to the top right and you click on the effects tab, which is like a little sparkly person, uh, on the right there's all these effects, and down at the bottom there's a reduced person. You can apply to yourself. Okay. Uh, is it in the conditions column? Custom. It's on the right. Column. In custom. Ah, yeah. uh, gotcha. My custom field's blank, actually. There you go. Awesome. Uh, that's because you need to open up the library book for it. No, you don't. No, you don't. Mine's not blank. Alright, I will attack the creature. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look like it increased my uh, range bonus, but... It doesn't show it in your sheet. Oh, it doesn't? 
No. No. It'll only show it I once it you did. roll it. Yeah, it'll just okay. apply it to the roll. That can end okay. up being really annoying occasionally if you end up having to map something out and you have a bunch of effects, but yeah. Yeah. Alright, so I guess just minus five to whatever this roll is. We'll put that in the modifier too. Minus five? Okay. So that doesn't hit, but there's still the splash. There is a splash, and they need to make a. So I'm going to make reflex DC... saves. Yeah. DC 13. Okay, so we've got one saves, three saves, and the other t three fail. All right, so What's if they fail, damage? they take four points of fire damage. Four points? Okay. And the yeah. ones you save take half, right? Correct. Okay. Alright, thanks for bearing with me, everyone. That's like uh, I heard that it from you back. Uh, Kane. He still holds. He doesn't have a clear shot. Uh, let's see, skipped over number two. Um, number two is hurt pretty bad. Not down, but it's going to basically retreat back into the, into the tunnels and, um, start hiding again. Uh, Freedom. Uh, well, they're not coming out. So nope, they don't want to. I say, well, leave their filthy treasure alone then, I suppose, and I'll... Leon did throw, like, a firebomb, basically, in there. Yeah, I'm gonna walk away, because there's nothing I can and want to do. Okay. Uh, I'm on. Uh, yeah, I see you throw an explosion in there, and they don't seem to be wanting to do that <laughs> anyway, so I'm just going to move away, and uh, I'll take a total defense. They're probably not going to throw anything at me from this far away, but in case they do, that'll be my turn. All right, Caleb. Uh, yeah, I don't think we need to fight them or take their treasure, so I'll, I'll move back here. Oh, but you'll kill rats! Okay. Sure, when they're... Well, I thought we were gonna get gold for them. <laughs> you might. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, this one is also very heavily injured. It moves back into the tunnels and hides. Uh, Rexus can- he seems to understand what they're squeaking and saying now. Mm-hmm. And he says, ah, good hit, Leon. You've driven them back for now, I think. <laughs> good, for their sake. And this one also... ...retreats. It's, uh, cursing at you. <laughs> I 
And then the same for these other gremlins until none of them are visible, but you guys can hear them scurrying around the walls. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to take us out of the initiative, unless uh, you guys do anything to try and, like, still go at them. No. What do you guys do? If they want to come out, then we'll deal with them, other than that. I'm going to head over to the grate and say uh, I had uh, unlocked this. I'll take out a tiny cigarette, take a puff, and uh, <laughs> say, uh, there are spoils here to be collected, but we can get some on the way out. Kane will just pitter -patters. move to here so you can see both things, like where Freedom's going, but he keeps an eye on that little hole. Yep. And he has his bow out. Well, you can actually keep an eye on all of the walls. Like, there's there's a yeah, multitude of, like, spots in them where it seems like uh, the wall has, like, either been eroded or, like, they've purposely tunneled uh, little holes in, in the whole thing. Yeah. Although, if you do want to get your um, well-deserved treasure over there, I suppose, uh, you might want to grab it now. If if we wait, if we do it on our way back, they might regroup and come out to defend it again. I guess they might do that anyway, but ah, like you, you are right. right. If we do leave it unattended, it is possible they come out of the walls and try to reclaim their treasure. So, if you do not mind, Capitan, waiting j just a moment. I'll collect this for our six. All right, I'll I'll uh, keep watch. Uh, okay. Freedom. Yeah. Yeah. In case they try to come. Doesn't back. say this, but he doesn't know how to feel about this. <laughs> We're like thieving from creatures, I guess technically. Well, I mean, he can't. I mean, unless he brings it up, but uh. No, he doesn't. Leon's thinking, you know. But you're getting judged hard. Oh, okay. Hard. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's cool. He's used to being judged. Okay. <laughs> it's just like, if you look at it from the perspective, they haven't done anything other than throw rocks at us to defend their treasure and hide. So it's like, he doesn't see them as a threat or a problem or whatnot. And so, and we know it's their treasure. So they're Maybe they're the see. test <laughs> to get to the secret hideout. I don't know. I tried. Yeah, I pretend to ignore what's they're... happening. <laughs> but no, yeah, no. Caleb, Caleb is like, I don't want to get involved with that mess. Amon, the For way Amon once. looks at it is that these are these are uh, pests, like they're gremlins. Uh, mm -hmm. They're no, they're as far as uh, his understanding of what gremlins are. Yeah, I don't have an understanding of gremlins. So, am I able to grab uh, the treasure that's on the ground without being, uh, you know, annoyed by the uh, gremlins anymore? You can feel their eyes on you, but they are very wounded, and it seems like at least three of them can't take attacks on you without injuring themselves at this point. Mm hmm. But you do yeah, see gives... plenty of treasure down there. He'll give him the squint, you know, gesturing with his lit cigarette, like, you know, there's more where that came from, uh, as he collects uh, what's there. Just kind of scooping it into a sack. I'm not sure how to distribute coins yet to the party, but I'm still going to post this in the chat. Um, you know how to make parcels? I have it, I'm going to try to sell it yet. So you do find 12 gold pieces, 185 silver pieces, and 342 copper. Well, on, in dude. the inventory thing uh, on the left, you'll see parcel coins, and you just put the number in there, and then you'll see a down arrow that allows you to distribute. Okay. 
Oh, I see it. So we'll just play with 12 GP for now. Yeah, Wee! and then okay, anything left go. over, it'll just leave it there. I let it just build up and dish it out as it builds up. It's like you're collecting interest on your returns. <laughs> okay, there's all your coinage. Uh, but you also find some other things in there, too. Um, there's a pair of quartz earrings, a set of nine silver coat buttons, and a slightly gnawed cloak. Slightly gnawed on? How hmm. cute. Yeah. Wear it. <laughs> However, it's, it seems like it's been surprisingly resilient for all the wear and tear on it. Ooh, you know what that means. It still looks nice. Already? Uh, I'm the Rat King. As you grow bigger. Mwahahaha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's probably not enough to appraise it. You're not sure how valuable the rest of the items are. Yeah, that reduced okay. price only lasts for a minute, right? So that's probably going to wear off. Yeah. yeah. I've been looking for a way to take it off. Uh, I think it's dismissible. If you put it on yourself, it? if you put it on yourself, you can hit the little running man icon on the combat tracker and opens expands your effects, and there will be a little button you can click to remove it. Um, but I think Matt put it on you, so you he might have to be the one to remove it. Yeah, if the Game Master does it, only the Game Master can remove. All right. Um, I care not to appraise these things, but I do wait patiently for my allies at this great that I'm slightly opening if it is openable. Okay. Do you guys take the uh, earrings, the buttons, and the cloak? Oh yes, yeah, so everything's getting shoved into the uh, into the sack. Okay, just make sure you, that you record it. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm all done. I'll just be uh, typing up stuff. Okay. Uh, you can... I'm assuming everyone's over here. Where are you typing it at, Drew? That. Uh, I'm putting it in the inventory in the uh, description. You can click and drag that text. Oh yeah, that's right. So you don't have to retype it. Yeah, can I see beyond this great or no? Uh you can. Stairs. Yeah? Yep, stairs that go down. Okay. These are big stairs. Why do the stairs need to be so big? The door's not that big. What a weird shape. Alright. I will uh, lead the way unless my allies prefer to scout ahead or anything like that. Lead okay. on, Mon Capitan. Uh, no. You can do it. I go down. Is it dark? Yeah, it is, but somebody here has a torch, I think. Do you think? Yeah, I still have a torch. Okay, I'm gonna hold out my shield and I have a cigarette. Then... The cigarette is enough You're light an asthma, for us. Right? That's right. Yeah, yeah. It is the light either, of right? civilization. Yeah, you have, you have dark vision as an Asimer. I am concerned for my allies. It is not about You're me. just making sure that you guys can see. It is about yeah, the well being. I'm perfectly fine friend. in the dark. <laughs> yeah, see? Okay. Then you see some doors there, there, down there at the bottom. Doors. I'm not much of a door person other than opening them. Unless what else I would will you do use my eyes and look Close suspiciously it. around the door. 
Okay. You you check the door for anything dangerous, but you don't you don't see anything. However, you do hear something. Ooh, I put my ear up against the door. Quietly. It's actually something quite beautiful. Ooh. Someone's playing music, and you can hear it from beyond these doors. Do I know what kind of instrument? You make a good guess, and you think that somebody is playing, um, let's see. It sounds like a pan flute, or like pan pipes. Mm. There's music on the other side of this door. The melody itself is a little strange and discordant, but it, it's purposeful. It is music. Mm hmm I'm going to quietly open the door, or at least attempt to quietly open it. Okay, you start to open the door. And as you open the door, Freedom, you do hear the the music mm -hmm. um, receding, almost like it's moving away from you. Oh. But it's still there; it's very faint, almost like it's leading. It's trying to like get you to go somewhere. Well, I ain't gonna. Like it's still with an earshot, but it gets further away. But if the music is in the direction I am going, then that is a coincidence. Uh, I think I see an opening here. So I'll you do. step forward and peer. But, uh, I'm not being stealthy or anything. <laughs> so even before you see it, you do smell something. There's another bad smell here. Oh. Like it, you, like what you would smell in like a, a polluted cistern. So yeah, you see, you see this mess. A 50-foot diameter pool of rancid brown slurry fills most of this circular chamber. Chunks of plaster have fallen away, leaving ragged patches behind in the walls and ceiling and mounds of rubble on the floor. What wall space remains is decorated in crude drawings and symbols of sinister form. Greasy-looking chains run between four stout pillars rising from the muck and anchor to various points on the wall. Huh. Gross. What is the purpose of this? Does anybody know? I'll, um... Uh, I'll I guess I'll... More in to get a... I'll plug I'll pl plug my nose and then step more in. Mm -hmm. Before entering there, is it possible? The torch. Is it possible to ask uh, Mr. Victor Cora for a little bit of uh, healing first? Uh, Leon, he'll ask. Uh, uh, you know, see, we play uh, Premier Sakura. I need uh, a little bit of uh, healing. Those creatures, their bite is nasty. What is your HP? Because it's not even filled out. It says negative four. No, that's his wounds. My total. His HP on the combat tracker. Oh, there we go. Oh, oops. I was going to say, I was like, why? Four is not that much of a wounds, but with only 10 HP, I suppose. It'll come into play later, trust me. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I guess uh, before moving on into that room to also look at it, uh, does Mr. Victor Cora have any uh, healing that he can use on me? He just has his potions. Uh, if he's willing to part with one, I'd gladly take one.
Dang, so needy. Uh, he... Uh, he he tells you that you're you you look okay for right now, but he he will keep a close eye on you. Very well. But you notice that the itching still has not gone away. Yeah, he's he's trying not to, but a hand keeps on finding its way to like somewhere and scratching. All right, as you guys start getting closer to the sister, and you see that like. Like, it doesn't look like it's hot at all, but there's, like, this weird, like, almost bubbling in certain spots. So, hmm. for those of us who aren't smart, when you say cistern, is that, is that, like, a pottery thing or, like, a food thing? What is that? A big stagnant pool. Yeah. It's like a tank was... for where you store water. Okay. Huh. Okay. That's not what I thought that was. The uh, It's just any th thing... receptacle that holds liquids. Okay. The thing that's on the back of your toilet that has water in it. And the Basically, yeah, that's a cistern. That, that is a cistern. Uh, We're about okay. to lay an Weird. upper decker in this mofo. This is obviously and a this is a... one. Yeah, this is a big toilet. thing that has, just has a bunch yeah, of nasty yeah. water in it. Okay. But yeah, in like very small concentrated areas, there's parts of the water that like get disturbed. It like splashes and stuff. And sometimes Am like I... it almost like bubbles to the top. Do I know what this substance is or what purpose this room serves? You can give me a perception check, and anybody else trying to observe anything about the cistern can give me a perception check. Suppose I know sure. more than I let on. I don't know anything. Okay. Uh, so Freedom, Leon, and Amon, you guys succeeded at your perception checks, and what you see is you you think that the disturbances in the water aren't anything to do with its temperature, but you think that they're like two medium-sized creatures that are just kind of like playing in it. Huh. You can't Play. identify them yet because they're like partially submerged in it. Does everyone else see the movement in there? I see movement in there. Um, perhaps we pass this room. I don't. S I don't know what this place is. It smells bad. Hmm. Hmm. I believe every place must be investigated to some extent, but. Uh... If you have a quickness to go to the other rooms, then I shall follow. Yeah, I agree. I don't think we have anything to gain by staying here. I'm not sure I want to know what those creatures are. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what do you guys do? Uh, if the party doesn't seem interested in pursuing that room, I will lead on down the hallway with my sword and shield. I'll and follow hand. freedom. You go over here. I'm guessing everybody can hear the music now, because we're in this hall. Yeah, you guys do. It's uh, peculiar music. However, as you go further down here, um, it is blocked off by uh, wreckage and rubble. Does it look like it could be cleared away within time, or...? It could with time.
Uh, perhaps we have to go into that nasty room after all. I don't know. Uh, it seems that fate has directed it that way, yes. Oh, he lets out a sigh, turns around and walks past you guys. Kind of mopey. <laughs> Salavi, <laughs> Captain Salavi. Not excited about this smell. Yes, yeah, this will help. It's natural incense. Hands you a cigarette. Uh, no. That will ruin my complexion. <laughs> Ah, uh, but you have plenty to spare! I know. Alright, I'm moving okay. into the room, keeping my wits about me, looking around, while itching myself. Um, Alright. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to, like... Startle those creatures, or wait till they startle us. Uh... So this right pathway looks blocked as well, so maybe I'll start heading this way. Yeah, it's kind of. See around here. This left one looks like the mo the least, uh, the least rubble strewn. Okay. I'll hmm. gesture for my allies to follow. One moment, please. He takes out a. Uh pot from his uh, pack and starts smearing like a, a black grease all over himself. Ah, there we go. Oh, I should probably put this out. <laughs> and he uh, puts the cigarette out. Mm, okay. On yourself and then you catch on fire? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, man, dude, my hubris. Just wait up, guys. Wait, guys. I gotta do something. I must douse myself in the grease and then set the whole thing on fire. <laughs> uh, so does this look like it's crossable, or do I need to like remove some? Rope? It is passable. You can get over it. I'll look back over my Just shoulder over to see it. if everybody's coming, and once I feel confident, we're all Kane on the has same his, page. like, bow pointed, kind of pointed towards the pool, where he sees the splashing, just to stay focused on it. I'm gonna carefully <laughs> okay. cross. He's doing that archer sidewalk. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Is a uh, oh move. What's his name? Uh, as you guys continue to cross, um, especially like as you guys start going across like the rubble here, um, for those who did see the the things in the water, mm -hmm. uh, you do see them that uh, the they're like splashing and stuff is getting closer to the rim like they've noticed you. Oh, then I'll say to my allies, get mm. ready for an encounter. So everybody roll initiatives, and those three are going to have a surprise round. Wait, did I roll profession farmer instead of perception? I just realized. Whoops. Everything is fine. Peas for... Yeah. Profession. Damn, I've been rolling pretty good tonight. Nice. And can I see more ahead of me, also? Oh yeah, I'll reveal more of that.
Okay. Uh, yeah, secret rules good on initiatives here. Uh, all right, freedom, you're up first. Uh, you, you guys see these creatures as they start like showing up more. Mm -hmm. Like they're uh, they're starting to kind of like get out of the muck. But their physical appearances are very unnatural to you. Mm, nothing a religious person would know much about, eh? Do you have knowledge planes? No. Uh, okay. Um, I. These will... things literally look like they're sludge themselves. Ew. Okay. Yeah. But they have like very noticeable socketless faces. Uh, mm. I am going to. I'm guessing this is difficult terrain. I'm going to move here and ready in action to strike at one if it gets close. Okay. Uh, let's see, Kane wasn't part of that, and Amon, yes, was part of it. Oh, was this a surprise round? Uh, what do you do for your surprise action? It's a surprise oh, round. Oh, I guess I don't move then, I'll just, um, ready in action. So yeah, Amon, uh, what do you do? during your surprise action. Did we lose Pluto? Uh, sorry. Oh, there he is. Uh, knowledge planes, right? Yep, knowledge planes. All right, um, you know things about these creatures and you, you recognize them. Um, these are very, very lesser devils. You would know these as Lemures. Okay. They're the protoplasm, basically, of fiendish souls. Um, yep. Yeah. So I'll, I'll... Say, uh, I'll say that. I'll say these are, uh, these are devils. Battery low. And, uh, they're probably resistant to acid. Then, Charging right? battery. Uh, you know that they are resistant to acid, cold, and they're immune to fire, poison. And these particular ones are immune to mind affecting effects. Yeah. They're these are actually mindless devils. They work off of base instincts. And you need good or silver to get past their DR. Yeah. Fortunately I have they... silver. But I'll I'll say to I'll pull out uh a silver dagger as my surprise action. And tell everyone if they have silver that use that. Okay. If I had a squire uh, and see. some silver sheen. Caleb, was he in the. No, he was not in the. I was not, thing. no. Um, My profession farmer role did not succeed. Leon, yes, you were. What's your surprise round action? Uh, well, hearing that from. Uh, Amon, he said, I could use some good news, Jarist. Ugh, this will have to do. And uh, he takes out a dagger. Okay. And, this one's uh, gonna move. Yeah, that's it. This one moves. It swims out of the pool and next to Leon and Caleb. And then the other one after that does the same but moves towards uh, Rexus and Kane. 
Maybe I looked too ready uh, to strike freedom. at him. Okay, uh... I will move forward. And you say, devils, you say. And I will strike at the devil. devil. Now this, I have no All problem right. hitting. Unless I miss. Then I have a problem. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, well... I <laughs> uh, see, so yeah, you had no problem hitting it. All right. Okay. Yep. You do hit it, but you do feel this devil's unnatural and unearthly resilience to your weapon. Ugh. I'll have to chip away at it. Uh, Kane, it's your turn. Uh, he's gonna shoot at you, even though it's point blank. Um, he'll take that attack of opportunity on him, but... You can uh... cipher step back. Mm, not really. No, because the other one will attack me then. Yeah. Oh, so he's he's in a weird spot. oh yeah, I, didn't, I wasn't looking at that one. Yeah. And since it's melee. Okay. Yeah, it's only. He'd have to like acrobatics or something if you wanted to get somewhere where he couldn't be attacked. Um, it will throw an attack at you then. Oh, hey, nice. You do critical it. Ooh. It, uh... Ooh, it was close to a critical on you. You crit each other! Wow! No. <laughs> it deals one point of damage to you. Go ahead and roll your crit. You might take it out. It's possible. Do you do double throws, right? It should automatically do a crit. Yours is... Yeah, it should automatically Yours crit. Is triple, oh, okay. Yours is triple damage, though. Because it's a bow. Is it configured? Oh, oh yeah, it's dying. It was... yep. Nice. It's dying nice, yeah, now. you got a good roll. But yeah, you should adjust that uh, on your sheet. Uh, you can you can change the crit to be times three. I think it already is. Isn't it? It, it shows. Yeah, it, it, it is it. time three. Yeah. Yeah, it's time oh, three. Oh, did it right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. adds those two together, so. Oh, I see it, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, Kane, you I put a really good... You shoot it, like... Where I guess it might have a heart or something. Well, it is a freaking, like, a big-ass bow point blank. Like, there's literally all the speeds just straight into it. Yeah. Well, they kind of have, <laughs> um, like, an amorphous look, but they aren't actually amorphous. They actually do have, like, vital organs and whatnot. And it did one bludgeoning damage to me? Yeah. Oh, it already... Oh, sweet. I don't even have to plug it in. It just does it. Nice. Yep. Yeah, it just <laughs> does damage to you. Just like you just did damage to it. It just applies it to a cheek. Pretty much just get to okay, good. That. That's one down. Uh, I'm on. Yeah, I don't have to do plug uh, health and all that crap. I can't really get to either, or I can't really get to this thing. Yeah, that's what sold me on Fantasy Grounds. It does math for me. Setup is, so I'm yeah. just going to delay. You're gonna delay? Yeah. I'll let you know if I see a spot where I wanna move, but I can't get to anything right now, so I'll just delay. It's okay, you did the hard work. You identified these creatures. Yeah. There's their little pictures. I don't know why I didn't have them there before. And I can yeah. I, their their IDs. You guys fought these okay. in uh, Shattered Star. Uh, Caleb. Okay. Um, yeah, I I applaud Kane for that awesome bow shot, and I'm going to hit number two here. I'm going to study it as a move action. Um, I do not have a silver weapon, but oh well. And then sure, I'll power attack it. Why not? Oh, didn't hit. Hopefully, twelve wouldn't have hit. You either. miss. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's my turn. <laughs> Actually, I can fight that, but there's nowhere to really go. Uh, you're in difficult terrain at the moment on the rubble. Oh, okay. Cool. It's my turn. All right. So if it's Leon's turn, he is going. Well, we've had to... two really good crits though far this session. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. My goal is yeah. to have the record for highest damage in a single round. 
Well, you do so far. So far, I have it. It's going to yeah, be a while before, try and maintain while it. before someone breaks 40. I know that provokes since it's difficult terrain, but I'm still going to uh, move right there. Okay, it will try to claw at you. All right. It, they make these angry, uh, uh, hateful nah! sounds against you as they try to attack uh -huh. you. Merely for the malicious intent. I'll go after Leon if it's still up. All right. All right. You take a point of damage. All right. Leon, he winces, but he says, Fech, you little devil, you. You think you're so tough being immune to fire? Well, you may not feel the flame, but you will feel the citizens of Gintaro. And uh, he's going to try to assist, um, provide, a, what is it, a plus two bonus to the next the person's bonus. attack? Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To the next person who's within... Yeah, who's within reach, basically. So you can apply it to Caleb or Freedom. Yeah, I'll apply it to Freedom. That way she's getting the flanking and the uh, the other thing. Okay, go ahead and roll an attack. You just gotta hit AC 10. Alright. Um, is there a button that I press that gives me the flanking bonus? Uh, if you open up modifiers... All right, that'll take too long. I'll just roll it, and we'll add two to it. Sure. Okay. Oh, that's so. a miss. All right. Well, I tried, you, and I'm try. providing flanking. Yeah, you are providing turn. flanking. I'll take my turn. Okay. For, uh, right after Leon, I'm gonna move and bank on it not having combat reflexes. So, okay, it doesn't attack you. Alright, I'm attack with my silver dagger, and hope for the best. Nope. That's a miss. Yeah. Alright, um, let's see. It hasn't been hit by anybody, but it's been attacked by everyone. That's right. Let's see, um... I'm gonna go one Leon, two Amon, three Caleb, four Freedom. I mean, I did hit it. I just didn't do damage. Yay! Oh, sure, you did hit it for a little bit of a damage yeah. though. Aww. But I want to damage to Caleb today. I Yay! <laughs> I want to die. It's gonna take two claws. Right. Scythe, two claw attacks on you. swinging fellow needs a reason to swing that scythe. Yeah, and it misses you. Oh, it's only at plus two. That's so good. Okay. All right, this one is still down. Yeah, I have, uh, Rexus, he AC. he he sees like you. Yeah, like your your big old orc horn bow arrows. Yeah, like it just tore this thing apart. And he gives you like a like a ha like a good slap on your shoulder, Kane. All right. And for some reason, you feel. You feel like this, almost like the hand of destiny has touched you. Alright. Uh, Freedom, your turn. Destiny? I want some destiny. So you get a plus four to this? No, you only get a plus two. Never mind, you just get the flank. Um, so you didn't hit the ten. I want destiny too. Okay, I'm going to swing my sword with the flank. You hit. Roll the damage. You do some more damage to it. That's good. You're chipping away. Chipping. Chipping away! Slowly. Alright, uh, Kane, it's your turn. And for this round, you get a plus one bonus to your attack rolls, your skill checks, your ability checks, and your saving throws. Sweet. Alright, let me adjust the minus then. And he's going to attack this thing point blank. Short. 
Oh, whoops. Got the wrong dice. Uh, there we go. Oh, I had the other do one not know why I rolled twice. Yeah, because you uh, had both. I had the other one. Click. Yep. No, you had but... one and two targeted. Oh, sorry, you'd have one and two targeted, so let's see. You did miss number two. Darn. Alright, uh, if that's your turn, then we'll go to Caleb. Okay, I get another chance. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna try and hit it. Um, I can't get any flanking bonuses or anything, but oh well. Maybe, yeah, yeah. You hit! Damages? Yeah! Yeah! Go. That's some damage, yeah. That that's, power attack. That's called 18 strength power attack with studied. Nice. I'm not a min max Okay. Wait, no, I am. You bring it down. <laughs> I'm I'm usually a mid maxer too, but I tried to do this campaign a little different. <laughs> it's good uh, when you have a mix. Leon okay. and Amon, is there anything that you guys do before the round ends? No. I spit on its corpse. I finish them okay. off. Make sure they're completely dead. Freedom finishes them off. I, you you reduce them into literal sludge. I mutter that and I would have been fine never having seen one of these things again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the underbelly of Kintago. It is. Uh... You reduce them to actual garbage and sludge. <laughs> oh, the books I read, I didn't see any devils that look like this, but I'll take your word for it. I clean my sword. And yeah, Amon, you would know that these devils are the lowest of the low. Yeah. Yep, I'd say, mostly they're uh, just the... mindless beasts. The legions of hell probably are happier with you not knowing that those about those existing. Hmm. They're, uh, they're, de they're devil very... poop. Oh. They're very low-ranking devils. Diablo Merd is a quite a fitting uh, number for them. Okay. All right. What do you guys do? When uh, my party Rexus looks seems ready to quite move Please. I'll uh, carry on. I'm gonna put my dagger away. Okay. And... Team off with just the torch out. Kane will stay in the back of the party and just keep slowing his head backwards to make sure we're not being followed. This Kane fella seems so paranoid. Hey, he's cautious. Yeah, doesn't he know that you're supposed to just walk with your eyes closed backwards into every dungeon you go into? Yeah, that's what my wizard does in our Saturday game. That's what happens when you're a ranger. Pay attention to the crap. <laughs> we actually were walking backwards with our eyes closed, though, in Mummy's Mask. Yeah, we had that, <laughs> that one hallway. That That's true. Yeah. Would gouge your eyes out if you uh, if you didn't hold, keep them closed. Oh, not gouge. There's Pull. no Medusa. Pull we haven't ran into out. we haven't ran into a Medusa yet, so your That's... eyes fall out onto the ground. You pretty much yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you hear that panpipe music? coming from this area. Um, I'll step more into the room. Alright, you do. And yeah, just like the rubble that was kind of like preceding this area, these, you actually see that they're, uh, it's a, it's like a, whatchamacallit, um, these are actually several rooms that just have like, you know, chunks of the wall are missing. Okay. And yes, these rooms have fallen mostly into disrepair. There are chunks of plaster hanging from the walls, exposing rough stonework uh, beyond. You see scattered furnishings that once outfitted bunk rooms, a kitchen, and even an armory that lie scattered about in states of complete disrepair. 
and doors ha hang from hinges in the crumbling archways that lie between the chambers. And you hear the panpipe music echoing around this room. Um, if nothing happens, I'm going to do something my allies have never seen me do. I'm going to cast a spell. Oh, All right. man. And yeah. I'm going to try to detect Damn, you get to cast evil. level one? Damn. That's oh, one. you're going to cast detect evil. One, yeah. Nah, it's Pat Paladin. This pan flute has me suspicious. Mon Capitan, do you see our uh, elusive siren? And I'll concentrate and scan the room as much as I can without moving. Now, I, I believe your ability, it's just like a... Is it a spell-like or a supernatural for it's you? It's spell. Is it is it the paladin one yeah. spell? Mm -hmm. It's an at well, but it's SP, yeah. Right. Okay, I was just making sure. Sixty feet or less. Okay. Uh, you start casting. To, yeah. Well, well, you you have to take the evil going now. Your mm -hmm. eyes glow. Uh, you start sweeping the room, and you do detect the presence of evil in here. Okay. Um, oh, wow. If nothing happens, I'll concentrate to narrow down where? Let me look at this thing. Number of evil aura. Okay. Uh, you start to pinpoint the location of it. Do you approach? Uh, no, I want to narrow down where it's at. And then point it out to my allies. Hey, Detect Evil over there. Over there, like... Okay, uh, so in the map. you see, it's not on the map, but you see um, three small crates in the northeast corner of these ruined chambers, and that's where the evil presence is coming from. So I'll point over there. So basically it's coming from over here. And if all of my allies look ready and sure of themselves, I'll motion that I'm going to approach. It's like the edge of I will detect evil range too then. Okay. okay. Well, I will hold up a finger and say, if there is evil afoot, uh, Monsieur Victor Gar, Victor Gora, could you assist me? No? <laughs> like, does he seem willing to part with the potion now? Not yet. He looks very interested, okay. though, in whatever freedom is looking at. Alright, from behind his back, I do a what-the-fuck motion. <laughs> I'm pretty <laughs> that's sure it. he's more concerned about when somebody actually needs it versus somebody who could use it. Because he only has, like, one or two, maybe. I don't know. He has two of them. Yeah, so... It's not like a wand I mean... or anything. I understand. I mean, Leon's gotten a little bit roughed up, but he's not, like, he's not really the two worst for wear. Well, I mean, if I take one good hit, I'll go, I'll go down, but, I mean, I guess pretty much True, everyone will. However, that's level one path from what you've seen, 
There's not very, there's not too many things that can give you a hit that good. That dog was probably the strongest thing you've fought so far. Don't, right. Don't piss Caleb off because he might. He might <laughs> you are Caleb. I just murder Sorry. you. <laughs> it's how we do things on the I'll farm. try not to. <laughs> no I'll try not to soil his car. All I have to do is use like compel hostility or something on Caleb at this low level, and he might just murder somebody. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Oh no. Alright, um, yeah, probably... do you keep approaching? Okay, we're moving up, yeah. He probably the music starts getting soon. quieter and quieter as you approach. Okay. Alright, well, if nothing stops me, I'll go, like, all the way up to the boxes until, like, something seems, I don't know. Something seems like it would stop me from walking. Then I'd stop. Other than that, I'll approach all the way. Okay. I'm very brave. I'll stand close enough that the torchlight reaches it, but I'm not going to go any further because I am a, not Scared. as brave. As you approach the boxes and you get that close, the evil, you don't see anything, mm -hmm. but the evil aura you do detect, and it's faint, uh, it moves. Uh. It doesn't move quickly, it just drifts over down to this other corner. I kind of follow it a little bit and I tell my allies to check the boxes. The evil has moved. Uh, I cautiously walk over towards the boxes and look around them, I guess. And I'll, I'll basically try to keep myself between my allies and the presence. I'll, uh, I guess once everyone has positioned themselves, he'll shout out, like, Who goes there? Get out of there! <laughs> you shout. Well, yeah, like, uh, come out and fight unless you are a coward. Alright. Damn, you're gonna provoke everything, aren't you? Well, he's kind of an instigator. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he does. <laughs> Alright, uh, well, if you check the crates, um,. You can open them just fine. I'll say that, uh, Amon, you open a crate and you see a really nice set of leather armor and a composite shortbow in one of them. Ooh. Huh. And there's more weapons and armor underneath that, too. I'll look at the other and say, this looks, this looks like a uh, resistance cache. Hmm. There's weapons and armor in here. Uh, Freedom's gonna sh say to the area where he last detected the evil, Is this your belongings? And I'm probably not gonna get a response, but he's still gonna ask. Um, the evil aura, it does start to move quicker than before. Uh oh. And it, Hopefully uh, away. it moves down further, yeah, like into these chambers away from you. Okay. What a peculiar sense of evil. It's moving around. They cannot see it. But yeah, there is there are more things in this crate if you want to keep checking it. Uh do you do that or do you go to another crate? I think we should check the uh... crates. 
what's an I mean, I'm more concerned about the evil presence that Freedom's talking about. So, like, I'm probably actually... Like, I see that it's, like, a cache in there, but, like, that doesn't... What's that going to do for me now? So I'm actually going to be looking around for anything... Like, I'm, I'm more looking... Oh, in the back into the room behind us and like trying to see if something's sneaking up on us. You try to look around? Okay. Yeah. You look around, but you don't see anything. Nothing moving. And freedom, even the the presence moves outside of your your detection range at okay. some point. Then I will uh, exclaim to my allies that uh, the evilness has left the area. Bah! Coward! This is very strange. Why Why can't we see it? I don't know, but I don't uh, think perhaps these things it... belong to it, or else it maybe would defend it. Or perhaps it led us here for some purpose. You think it is what was playing mm. the music? Uh, well, we did not find the source, so I think it is a. You don't hear the conclusion. music anymore. <laughs> it's just a conjecture. Rexus does seem interested in the. the whatchamacallit, in the. Um, in the crates. Mm -hmm. After you say that the, the stuff is gone. Yeah. And I'll look in them as well. Okay. I'll let you, uh, knowing folk, take care of that. Okay. I won't um, make an you... intellectual out of you yet. Do you, do you look through all the contents of the first crate? Sure. Okay. Uh, so... I'll I'll post this, but people can write this down. Um, the first crate has a suit of leather armor, a composite short bow. There's a masterwork hand crossbow in there, and a masterwork silver morning star. There is a fine cloak, and there's a dozen pearls in it. I didn't write any of that down, did you guys? No, oh, oh, he's doing it, okay. He's posting it in the chat. I gotta teach him how to make parcels. <laughs> I mean, I can, but I gotta do them, like, before the game. Yeah, yeah. That's why I get mad at fantasy grounds. that masterwork? Sometimes they're empty, and I'm like, what? <laughs> now I have to do shit? So that's what you find in the first crate. Okay. Um. And Rexus, um, like he's interested in this, but he said, but he's like looking at the other crates. He's like, no, th there must be more. More what exactly? Something that my mother wanted me to find here. Something that could help. You think we've arrived? Something that must tell us about the Silver Ravens. Destination. All right, Kings weapons and, and armor. Look around. Is something that we are. Well, you guys already have. Okay, then we shall open more crates. Check well, the there's crate. two more crates. And ah, uh, yes, Leon, the the Morning Star is silver. Sorry about that. No worries. That's useful. Okay. Uh, do you guys open the second crate? Yeah, and Leon at the very uh, least will. And we'll join anyone going okay. through them. You open it, and there is a single item in here. Um, an iron coffer. Mm. I pick up the coffer and open it. Okay. Uh, you try to, but it's locked. 
And this thing seems like it's watertight. Hmm. No simple... It, it wouldn't be a simple lockpick. Does Rexus maybe have a key? He does not. All right. Uh, Leon says, well, he'll inspect it if he's able to. You you may. Uh, does it look like it's something that could be picked? It could be picked, but the lock is well made. It's so that's what I was saying. It's not a simple lock. Right. Mm. He looks at it and says, eh, perhaps I could uh, open this with a little persuasion, but it would take some time. Uh, I assure you that I will split whatever the contents are in here. Split? Oh. Does it have any initials on it? I'll toss and turn the It is unmarked. Around. Okay. Uh, and you said that it looked like it had a watertight locking mechanism? It is. It No, the the thing itself seems like it's watertight. Like there's just no any kind of opening on it whatsoever. There's like not even like little creases to see where it would open. Perhaps our friend <laughs> Rexus should hold on to that, since this is, after all, his quest. Hmm. Uh. Very well. He says he will, but um, if you think you can open it, then you you do that. But of course, my good monsieur, I will take a crack at it. And I, I guess if we're not in any hurry at the moment, I guess I might as well just try that right now. Yeah, if you're not yep, in a hurry, go ahead. then go for it. You'll spend four rounds lockpicking. Alright. Nope. Alright. Um, and it looks like it's really well crafted, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, can I do an appraisal to check to sure. see, like, how good I may have to roll to open this thing? Yep, go ahead. Fifteen. You're not a hundred percent, but it it does look like it's a good quality lock, so it's going to be above twenty. Okay, I may need to. It may be best just to take a twenty, like spend twenty minutes, right, for a disabled or device. Take the whole chest. I don't know if you can it. take 20 on it. Well, it's just a copper. So take 20 is big. something you can only do on a check that doesn't have any consequences when you fail. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Why don't we just so. bring it with us? I guess we could. Another crate to open. I mean, there's other crates later. too. There is another crate. Let's open that. Yep, and Rex trusts that in time you may be able to open it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, can you assist on a d disabled device? Uh, you can't. You yeah, can. I don't think... You can't. Oh, you can't. Oh, okay. Yeah, and he says, uh, un unless you already have masterwork tools, he says he might be able to get you masterwork thieves tools to try and open that. Ah, oh, très bon. Thank you, Monsieur. That is very gracious of you. Okay. And I'll only you. give them to you when you really need them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it looks like we're going through the next box. Okay, crate. you yep. try the third crate. You open it up, and there's just a bunch of ancient straw in it. Sift through the straw. Okay, who is sifting through it? Uh, I'll I'll dive right on it in there like a little mole. All right, you do. 
you you dive down in there, Leon, and you hit your head hard on something. Mon dieu, my cranium. There, there's something <laughs> solid in there. Uh, and not just solid, it's right. hard. All right. Uh, I'll tell everyone that you know there is something in there. Well, it is a box. And uh, I'll start taking some straw out to see if it's possible okay. to reveal what the item is. You begin taking straw out, and you reveal something. You reveal something resplendent. Uh, whoever has the light or like torch or something, it gleams when the light hits it, and it in fact it looks like it it's made of silver. Argent. Do you keep uh, revealing? Well, now that it looks you know so splendiferous. Uh... He's going to be a little bit more careful, and he is going to inspect around uh, the sides of this thing to make sure that it's not uh, trapped in any way. Okay. I mean, he was cautious earlier, but now... But Just now... a little more cautious. <laughs> you take a really good look around, and you don't think it's trapped. All right, rubs his hands together and gets back to work on trying to extricate this thing from the crate very carefully. All right, uh, you do that, you and as you... And if it's very heavy, then yeah, I'll be struggling. If it looks like he's struggling, I'll assist. Okay, freedom assists. Uh, you guys reveal that it's actually not just one thing that's made of silver, it's several that are all stacked on top of each other. Plates? And when you finally reveal one of these objects, it's something that fits into your hand, like you can hold it, but it has a shape. And the shape is, it's uncanny. You guys pull out a literal silver raven. It's a statue. Oh my god. And Raxus' yeah, eyes go on. wide when he sees that. It all makes sense. But what and inside of the mean? crate are five more silver raven figurines. Oh. Um, do these things have any significance? Oh, Rexus, like, he nods his head and he, he, he reaches to take one as long as you guys will let him handle it. And he says, yes, like, this is what my mother must have wanted me to find. These are, these must be related to the Silver Ravens. But what do they do? Uh, he, he takes a moment and he starts using a, a simple cantrip and he says... Yes, there is magic, magic surrounding these, these figurines. <laughs> I'd confirm that, but I don't have Detect Magic prepared right now. Now yeah, you can roll a 20 on an appraise and tell. I'll just take his word for it. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like you took my um, word for it about the have... evil thing. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody have spellcraft, or he can roll it? I have spellcraft. I, I don't, don't have, have detect magic, magic prepared, yeah, so, so it doesn't help me. Okay, yeah, nobody it's has nice it. not being the magic person in the party too. I must admit. He says he doesn't know it's what so these work. do, but that this this has to be what his mother wanted him to find. Um, then. And whatever's in that box might also be important. We should there? probably take all of these arms and armaments, too. Are we done clearing yep. I mean, I can place? prepare to take magic the next day and look into this stuff, but... Now I can prepare, prepare Identify the next day is probably what I'll do. No, we've been everywhere. Okay. He says that he knows a safe place where we can take these. I'll pick up 
um, the heaviest box. Okay, yep, Freedom, he, he just her, picks it up because he's strong. Actually, Caleb should do it. Here, Caleb, carry this. I'll pick up the box with the silver ravens in it. Mm, I mean, I can, but I'm carrying all these dead rats. <laughs> in your hand? I will assist you, Mon Capitan. <laughs> well, no, I'm just saying, like, they're heavy. Uh, Freedom rolls his eyes at you <laughs> and holds the box. Puny man. man. Rexus will I guess take some, something. He can. I guess he some can of take us like didn't the, work. Uh, physically demanding jobs. Yeah. I mean, I did. It's just that require you to carry lots of heavy things around. It's all right. Just we'll oh just have the, We'll just have our uh, our wizard. Rexus hefts like the like the the crate like that has like the weapons and armor in it, but it does seem like it. No, like no, he, no. I he, have he's that gonna crate. Be, like, be dragging this. I have that crate. Rexus can carry oh, okay. the coffer. All right. And then I don't know how I much the silver strength, ravens so... carry, and whether or not we need to keep those in a crate or not. But uh, Rexus says that we should keep those hidden at all costs. Uh, keep yeah, those in the crate. Keep them in the crate so that yeah. yeah. The uh. The government here has been suppressing information about the uh, the silver ravens for years. Kane will take the the crate with the silver ravens. They find yeah. us in possession of something that's so obviously tied to. The silver this is ravens. something that could get you tortured. They'll try to. They'll probably confiscate it, and uh, yeah, you might get tortured. Kane, yeah, but Kane nobody will carry that would crate. suspect. All right. Nobody Kane will suspect this old toddy. Okay. Uh, All right. We'll um, he tells you guys me. that I think it's time that we went to the the Long Roads Coffee House. Um, we we have someone that we must talk to. Actually, Kane and says a... maybe. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Kane does say maybe we should split up these ravens. That way, if one of us gets captured, we still have some, and they don't get all of them at once. If you want to, there's one for each of you, basically. There's six total. If you want to take a silver raven, just make sure you mark it on your, your sheet in your items. He looks at everybody. I mean, it's up to them if they want to grab one, but... He'll take to all uh, of them. If I'm that's fine the with case. that. I can keep it hidden. I can keep it hidden in my backpack or something. Uh, sure. If we want to do that, I like having it. It's very right, pretty. Right. He'll, he'll hand out one to whoever wants one. What is the What is the fancy okay, raven statue? Silver Wait. raven. Beyond eagerly takes one. Okay. He yeah. looks at looks at him. Well, he's like reaching for one. He's like, he tells Leon, "Don't sell it." <laughs> but of course, why would I want to get rid of such a beautiful work of art? He still stares at him, and he hands him one, <laughs> knowingly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you still have a cruel eye, Dotari. So judging. As he, like, Sorry that I interrupted. Blood, what? He's still itchy. Oh yeah. Sorry I interrupted Rexus, but I figured that'd be a better course of action than just That's have fine. one person have all of it. <laughs> um. He defers to your judgment. Ulrich, what was Rexus And saying? if you guys want to, you can exit the livery. Yeah, I'm in I'll, favor of to, that. I'll follow him to this coffee house he was talking about. I know it's yeah. probably like after dark if time we get out, but uh, yeah, it's getting also, dark. When we get back out, I'll ask my familiar if she saw anything leave before we got back. She did not, okay. uh, but she did feel a strange presence. 
like you guys once you guys have become aware of it and she did like it did feel like she was being watched okay i don't think there's anything i can do as a level one wizard about that so you know leon <laughs> take note of it something guided us to that and they're still there we though they detect as evil they might not have been evil in life I wonder if you knew hmm. them. You, um, what's his face? Uh, Rexus. I wonder if Rexus <laughs> knows them. Victor Cora. Yes. He's not sure, and he is like wary about you detecting something evil, especially in a city that is under the oppression of devil worshippers. Mm-hmm. I mean, you didn't recognize the music it was playing or anything, right? It wasn't like a, you have any family a lullaby members? or something mm -hmm. that you... That mm -mm. you he shakes his head. Hmm. <sighs> well, very well. That presence is still in our world. Perhaps we'll meet again. All right. So, that seems if you guys like you spotted a ghost, I don't like ghosts. A ghost? Oh no! Oh no! Spooky, spooky, scary ghosts. Well, Rexus says that um, the Long Roads Coffee House is uh, in the northeast uh, section of the uh, by the park. It's northeast of the park uh, in Villagre. That's the district in the city. Very well. We shall meet there soon. Soon. Wait, is the plan to split up and then meet there, or are we just all gonna go together? No, he. I think we're. we're... He's suggesting that we go there together right now. Okay. Yeah. I'm... With yeah, these yeah. Let's do that. Lead the way then. Yep. Okay. Yep. He says that it, that that's the only place safe enough safe. that he thinks okay. that we could keep these things. Then lead the way. And that there's someone there that he knows that can help us. And he does. So this establishment, if anybody is familiar with it, which some of your characters may be, uh, it caters to an eclectic mix of customers. It serves coffee, food, and it serves coffee and food to bright-eyed students of the villagery and uh, delivers fancy desserts and pastries to the noble estates in the green. It's also known for its traditional halfling fare, as well as its lovable proprietor, Laria Longroad, which he introduces you to as soon as they get there. Hello. I probably at least, maybe I've even been here before, but I don't think it's somewhere like that I frequent or anything. And here she is. Yeah, she looks like she could walk oh, on a long I've road. Oh, I've seen her. Hmm. Was she in the player's guide? I don't know, I just, when I look for pictures... She is, she's in the Hell's Rebels player's guide. Yeah, yeah, she's on the cover of the player's guide, actually. Yep, and so is Rexus, too. There's those bare yeah. hairy feet! They have halflings. Halfling done traditional. Hmm. Luckily, our gnome wears shoes, And as soon as you right? guys like start coming in with the crates, right, gnome. she's like, whoa, whoa, what are you guys doing? I didn't order any shipments anytime soon, but Rexus shows his face. He's like, ah, hello, Laria. Uh, excuse my friends. I, they're here on my behalf, but we need, we need to talk. And she, she winks at him and says, all right, all right, yeah, come this way. And she leads you into the coffee house, and that's where we'll end today's session. Alright. Oh, it's 10 o'clock, no! Yeah. Yep, and I'm gonna give you guys experience. Hey, we got to a good milestone, though, so... It's, uh, that's always exciting. Max says he'd smash it. <laughs> Who? What? Max, in, in our chat, he says he'll smash it. Perfect. That was Ma Max there in Twitch chat. Yeah. <laughs> who's, who's trying to say inappropriate things towards the, the halfling lady? <laughs> 
Because I'll have you know that she has class levels, and Ooh. one of them starts with a B and rhymes with locker. Oh. Blocker? I'm confused. Don't try to put the moves on her. She will fuck you up. Okay. Hey, man. I'm a high class gentleman, I'll have you know. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in here defending yourself? Uh, hey. I'll defend myself and defend my lady. <laughs> I think, oh, uh. <laughs> we can play some games, Max. What do you want to play? Uh, um, why is it not giving you guys experience? Depends if Pluto wants to know, play GM. League or not, I suppose. There we go. I had to unclick a, <laughs> All right, cool. a thing. Alright, there you go. A little past the level seven. To level two. We're level seven. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you guys uh, might hit level two um, in like another session or so. The D and D cool. campaign where you level out of order. <laughs> you roll a D twenty. That's your level. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that, that would be silly. I think I read about like somebody running a weird campaign where you started at a high level and you level and you D level as D the campaign level? goes on. Whoa. Yeah. Like you, <laughs> so so on. Leon, um, that itching lasts for hours, but eventually it does go away. Oh, good. Well, at least that one going away. You might still have a disease. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I guess, uh, oh, yeah. Well, it looks like I see a pattern starting to develop, and if Strange Aeons is anything to go by, I'm going to be weighted down with those negative levels later on. <laughs> oh, probably Maybe. not at level one. <laughs> well, I meant later. Are, are, are you, you our die? debuff collector? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah every, but at every, least uh, uh, has one. Leon Leon ha is an alchemist, so he can remove his own debuffs. He can, ah. he can create uh, restoration extracts. So yeah, hey, hey. at least you're not whack a cleric. <laughs> like we had that one homebrew game. We had a like we had a, like a begrudging like cleric because we were playing like an evil campaign, but he was like uh -huh. tied up, and we forced him to heal us. <laughs> <laughs> we oh. like, yeah. We like threatened him this. if he did. It was, it was, he was like, it was like the pirate campaign. <laughs> oh, oh that's right. <laughs> yeah, with Chalish, the uh, the we drunk were pirates. Was this uh like a homebrew pirate game, or you guys? Just yeah, homebrew, yeah, uh... homebrew. homebrew. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was Homebrew World, but it used all the same Pathfinder rules. I was just curious if it was the AP, because there's a, there's a pirate. Yeah, AP. no, it wasn't Skull and Shackles. Skulls and Shackles, I yeah. played the first... I want to say I, play, I, I played book one of that, I think, and maybe part of book two, I believe. This was with one of my early incarnations of my famed uh, witch, but yeah. she was uh, a sea witch in this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With Tolkien's The Little Crabs Familiars? Yeah. Oh. Alright, well that's it for the game tonight, guys. Thanks for coming. Hope you had fun. Uh, I'll see you guys next sure week, hopefully for a full-length session. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, sounds good. Sounds yeah, good. Thanks, Matt. Uh, right. Next session, yeah, be prepared to make lots of skill checks, because you guys are going to have to figure out some stuff about the things that you got. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I guess well, I better... after I rest, oh, actually, I'll be all I can't prepared. make it next session. Haha, uh -huh. yeah. I no, guess I better I'm, bring in my checks. investigator. Oh. But the Zerdarium, the more you get through the skill checks, the sooner I... you get to something that you can fight. Uh, true, yeah. I'm a, uh, I'm a six skills per level with minus one because of... And Simple <laughs> farm five. boy. Simple yeah. farm boy doesn't have many skills other That's than farming. I'll have, uh... After we rest, you need I'll be to... able to prepare, identify, and being intimidating. or, uh, or that'll be good, Pluto. But I actually have a. Also, don't forget your uh, your background skills too. That's an extra two. Yeah, yeah, I have, yeah. The profession farmer, obviously. Obviously, that's right. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. I'll see. <laughs> yeah, 
I want to just I want to just play Rolf. I want to play my European immigrant drow, and he'll he'll oh, say yeah. things just like Rolf. <laughs> and see you next week. Yep. yep. See you tomorrow. I'll man. see you guys next week, and I'll see Zerdurian, Pluto, and Secret.